the month of October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, which brings awareness to a topic most people don't want to talk about. HCC Southwest College lead counselor Deshantra Moore helps students and faculty by hosting a presentation at Stafford Learning Hub with guest speaker Thesia Jenkins. Here's Ms. Moore for more information. The presentation today was for students as well as staff and faculty to learn about domestic or intimate partner abuse and we had our presenter Ms. Thesia Jenkins here. She has over 20 years of experience in um, working with women who are uh, survivors of intimate partner abuse and she trains a lot of nonprofits as well as um, the local law enforcement. As a counselor, the goal today was to open up the discussion to provide education and resources to our students here at Southwest College and to uh, also inform the student that the counseling department is here to give them support as well as resources. Domestic violence is a tough topic to talk about. This line of work is not meant for everybody, but those it is meant for answer the phone when it rings and Ms. Thesia Jenkins is one of those people. Here she is to tell us more about her duty. What I do for the Harris County Domestic Violence Coordinating Council is I am the training director. So I get the awesome opportunity to go all around the Houston and surrounding area having a conversation about domestic violence and how it not only is impacting survivors, but it's impacting everyone they're connected to. Ain't nobody in the family but got no education. She lucky she got out of high school, man. We just let her make it. I haven't hit her, I haven't strangled her, haven't slapped her, haven't bitten her. Why does she stay? I want to have communities to feel comfortable talking about a topic that is usually taboo. That people don't want to talk about the one in three women who have been, will be, or currently in an abusive relationship. The one in 10 men that have been, will be, or currently in an abusive relationship. And so I want to bring it to them. You know, I want them to recognize that even though it may not be impacting their lives, if they're in law enforcement, it's impacting them. If they are a healthcare provider, it's impacting them. If they are an educator, it's impacting them. If they're a parent, it's impacting them. So I just want to draw people into a conversation about how this very private issue impacts everybody. Ms. Jenkins doesn't just talk to her audience. She has conversations with them, opening up the dialogue with everyone and interacting with them. As someone who's been doing this for 20 years, that's to be a strong motivation for her to continue this work every day. I don't even know you sorry. That does not take away the fact that you have wasted 50 minutes of my goddamn time. I'm sorry, I'm trying to rush. You ain't still going to sit What's going on with you? The hope that in the course of having this conversation, that there's that one person in the room who says, you mean I'm not crazy? You mean the fact that, you know, I am feeling hopeless because every single day I wake up, I'm reminded how stupid I am, how ugly I am, and that even though he or she has never laid a hand on me, I somehow feel violated. You mean that really is abuse? I want that aha, I want that to click in someone's head, that even though they've never been touched, because we've got to get rid of this idea that it's only domestic violence if a person has a bruise. How about the bruise on somebody's soul? So that's what wakes me up, is someone having the realization that, you know what, I'm not alone and I'm not crazy. I want people to recognize that there is help available. That's what gets me out of the bed. For more information about Ms. Thesia Jenkins, and the Harris County Domestic Violence Coordinating Council, please visit their website. For HCC Beat, I'm John Davis.